Hi, it's Miss Laura, Youth Services Librarian at the Charlevoix Public Library, here to tell you about 10 new books that I have in the teen room. Starting with historical fiction, this one is A Secret Princess by Margaret Stoll, who wrote the series Beautiful Creatures, and Melissa de la Cruz, who wrote a vampire series called Blue Bloods. Moving into realistic fiction, My Sister's Big Fat Indian Wedding, and this is by Sajni Patel. Also realistic fiction, Remember Me Gone by Stacey Stokes. Moving into romance, this is Violet Made of Thorns by Gina Chen. Also romance, this is Love and Other Great Expectations by Becky Dean. Moving into the horror genre, one that I've seen on tons of great lists and all over is called The Honeys and this is by Ryan Lasala. Also horror genre is The Witchery and this is by S. Isabel. Moving into the fantasy genre is A Girl's Guide to Love and Magic and this is by Debbie Rigaud. Also the fantasy genre is Stephen King's newest fantasy called Fairy Tale, and this takes place with a teen character and his name is Charlie. Charlie befriends an older gentleman who has secrets and when he passes away, he gives Charlie his home and property and a shed and inside the shed, Charlie discovers a secret portal to another world. So if you wanna try the newest Stephen King who has been writing uh, books for decades, including Carrie and It and many, many others, you will wanna try um, this fairy tale. Moving into mystery, the newest by Karen McManus is called Nothing More to Tell. She writes really good thriller mysteries and her latest does not disappoint. Super fast paced, great characters, and the main character is a girl and her name is Bryn. She started at St. Ambrose Academy and during her time there, she was friends with three other students and one day the three students went into the woods working on an assignment and the teacher was there and they came out of the woods but the teacher did not. He was murdered and every story is the same and the police never figure out the murder. At that time Bryn moves away and it is four years later. Bryn has moved back to the school where the students are still there and the murder is still unsolved. So if you'd like to find out what happened to the teacher and the students, this is nothing more to tell. You can find all of these at the Charlotte Public Library and if you have any questions you can always contact me at the library. Have a great day. Bye!